never have called the police, would you? Well, he would have done, you know. Trust me, he came that close. Yeah, we should have let him. What, see you banged up? Yeah, that'd be great. Why are you acting like this? Why are you trying to muck everything up? No, young man, you are staying here and talking to me whether you like it or not. Now, that means stitches. Back off. Aaron! Hiya. I'm looking for you. Yeah, well, you found me. Got some of Jackson's stuff. I thought you might want to have a look through it, see if there's anything you want before I take it to the charity shop. What is the matter with you? I need to move on, Aaron. So do you. You're always in a rush. That's what Jackson would have wanted. Please. Would you like to tell me what last night was about? And before you say you were doing me a favour, I don't buy it, so the truth, please. He broke into my house. So why didn't you call the police? So you'd rather I had. I'm puzzled as to why you didn't. I was doing you a favour. Really? Yes, really. Anyway, what good would it have done? Well, it'd have put a smile on your face for starters, wouldn't it? I mean, come on, you'd pay good money to see him banged up. You're hardly as big as fan, are you? you got a pretty low opinion of me. Yep, and I wonder why. Do you want to know why I didn't call the police? Because maybe I understand what he's going through. Now I know you're playing games. He's lashing out. The last thing he needs is to be banged up. No, you care. I'm not an idiot. I'm actually being genuine here. Carl, you haven't got a genuine bone in your body, so come on, let's get down to brass tacks here. What's this really about? Nothing. I don't believe you. I was trying to help. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Oh. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He's gorgeous, isn't he? <laughs> so then, Paddy, what's it like being a stay-at-home dad? Uh, 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 before you answer, swallow. I think it's fine. I don't know what women complain about. How many days have you had him? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to smuggle you home with me. Yes, I am. Fancy doing a swap? I'll have Leo, you can have Aaron back. <laughs> I'm not joking. Why? Right. What's happened? How long have you got? He's certainly not the easiest lad to get on with. I'll be lucky if I've got a punter left by the end of the week. Anyway, I've had it with him. I don't care what Chaz says. Stop looking guilty. I'm looking guilty because it's my fault, isn't it? I'm the one that asked him to move out. Yeah, well, if he had the same attitude then he's got now, I don't blame you. Listen to me. You've got this one to think about now. Anyway, you've done enough. It's about time Chas did her bit. He is her lad. Yeah, maybe you're right. I know I am. She's got to get a handle. And quick. Otherwise he's out. Great. What's happened now? Kane sent me home. And before you start mouthing off, no, I'm not going to the hospital. Right, well, let's have a look at it, clean it up. Just do it later. Or let it go septic, see if I care. What's in the bag? No. Boss's head. You've not been on the rob again, have you? No. Right, well, shall I make you some lunch? No, but you could always make yourself scarce. Your attitude stinks. And?
I hope you're going to put money in the till for that. I'm keeping it hard. Good. Because that's the third pint he's had. Not the accounting, like. We've got enough overheads without him drinking the profits. Pint if you find this, please, Diane. You won't get any finer ale than you find in here. And I hope for your sake that's all you're after. What? Dancing girls off the menu? I just don't want any trouble. I've got more on my mind. So I hear. Tate much did there last night? No. Just trash the place. But then you'll know that, won't you? I only know what the glazier told me. He was in here earlier. Oh. He was just kids mucking about. I hope you called the police. There's no point. Oh, damn. Barrel needs changing. Don't look at me. I did the last one. You want to call the police now? I'm telling you, you need to report it. There's some right weirdos out there. Remind me to double lock the place tonight. How about we have a drink back at mine? Well, that rather defeats the object. The whole point of coming in here is to get you out of the house. Yeah, I know. Come but... on. You won't be saying that when half the village gets robbed. It's not that long since our Val was burgled. Oh, what can I get you? Cheers for all this. It's really nice to know that you're on my side. It's not my fault. Never is, Carl. You're joking. <laughs> no, so keep your windows locked. You all right? So did they do much damage? Nah, hardly anything. That's because you probably disturbed them. Why don't you just keep your mouth shut? I beg your pardon? You heard me. Get out. I mean it. I don't want you in here. Come on, get off me! Oh, come on, I'm trying to help! I don't need your help! I don't need any of your help! Yes, you do! And why is that, eh? What, can you not say it? Or shall I say it for you? Because I'm a murderer. Just like you. Leave now or I'll call the police. Something you should have done yesterday. Then maybe I won't be here. I ain't got the energy for this right now. Tough. He broke into Carl and Jimmy's, didn't he? I take the silence to mean he did. What did I say when he moved in here? Well, this has gone on long enough. I've had it up to here. I want him to leave. I can't handle this right now. Well, that makes two of us. Because the lad's out of control. Do you not think I know that? Well, do something! Like what? He won't talk to me. I know for a fact that he doesn't even listen to me and Bob. Tying him up and locking him in a room, I am fast running out of options here. I'm out of my depth, Diane. I always have been. But he's my son. Without me, he's got nobody. He's already tried to kill himself once. What if he does it again? That's why I need him here. Because I need to keep an eye on him. I need to keep him safe because I would never, ever forgive myself of anything. I know. <laughs> I'm really sorry if it's inconvenient for you, but I am slowly sinking here. And all that's going on inside my head is... <clears throat> what if he... What... It, what then? He won't. I don't know what to do, Diane. We'll sort it. We're gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs>